So in today's video, I'm going to build the simplest storage shelf solution you've ever seen in your life. I've been doing this for years. Designed this just kind of off the cuff one day because we had a quick problem we needed solving. And I started to realize a couple modifications. I can whip these things together for 30 bucks and have a whole wall of shelving. I'm going to share it with you right now. All we need is a few screws, drill, a couple of pieces of 2x3, and a sheet of aspenite. Now this is what we're using, 5 uh, five eighths tongue and groove. It's a flooring product. It's OSB, right? So it's real cheap. Anyway, what we do is we're just going to cut this in half. And it's going to give us um, two shelves that are eight feet long and two feet deep. Okay? So we'll just do this real quick. Ah. I've already got my line marked just to cheat a little bit for the sake of camera. So when you're cutting a surface like this and you're in tight space and you can't set it on saw horses, if you just leave the last half an inch in the middle, OSB is really convenient. So we got two different kinds of wood. We got our 1x3s and our 2x3s. So we're going to just take our 1x3. This represents basically the middle where my, my shelf goes four feet in both directions. That leaves a nice little nook in the end for long, tall stuff like skis. Here we go. Now, bottom shelf, I want 30 inches off the ground. I love 30 inches because there's a lot of things that are just oversized in life. So I use a black marker for that. The next one we're going to go to 24 inches, so we'll mark 55. That's going to be where the wood goes. Here's my system to make this really quick and simple. Put a black mark on my 1x3. That represents where my 2x3 is going to be placed, okay? So I'm going to cut a couple pieces of strapping, screw them together at that black line, so then it becomes a structural support. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Now I'm using my little system here. You go in reverse and you burn the screw in. And it won't split even this little, this dried out little strap. It's awesome. Okay, now we're ready to hang shelves. I'm putting uh, these boards on the wall, right on top of that black mark. And I'm going to have the mark that I marked at four feet, which is the middle, right off of this stud. I'm going to just use everything that's existing here to make this make sense. Now each one of these screws carries 80 pounds. You can start to see in a real hurry that between three or four locations on the wall and a couple of locations in the front, you can carry more than enough weight for whatever you're stacking on there. Now I just take this little measuring stick that I have. There we go. Now it's level. <laughs> It's all the same length, so flush it up would be nice, but because you're working alone, you take that same stick. All right. All right. Now the face of this, I'm going to put in a permanent stick in the front, on the middle and on both sides, and I'm going to have it sitting a little bit higher than the shelf. The reason for that is that makes a great place to drape extension cords, Christmas tree lights, that sort of thing. All right. We'll just lift this up to flush now. All right. Yeah, so that we're not relying on the, weight, the strength of that screw in the aspenite, we're going to drive a couple more screws in to a block just underneath the backside. There we go. There we go. 
I'm using the off cuts to cut the two blocks to go underneath the stick. So really at the end of the day, all you need is one shelf, a few two by fours, a couple of these, off you go. Pretty handy. Okay, so the last element is what gives this shelving system all of its strength. Don't want that sticking out. And we just throw a few screws from the top into this 2x3. Now everything is tied together and everything is extra support. Here we are. So now you've got a two foot deep shelf, eight feet long, supported by two 2x3s. It carries over a thousand pounds of shelf with no issues whatsoever. Brilliant. Now I'm sure if you go down to the hardware store today, you can go down their storage aisle. They'll have all kinds of options for shelving and component systems. You can spend thousands of dollars or you can spend 30 bucks in about 20 minutes and build your own. There we go. So building shelves is easy. All it takes is a couple of basic tools, a little know-how and about 30 bucks. And so there you go. That's my blueprint for success for basement storage shelving. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see other videos like it, then subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Very important so you'll see all of our newest videos. And what you do here is click this link over here. You can watch us build a shed. It's kind of a perfect place to put a bunch of shelves like this.